What's the deal, y'all? This your man, King Eric, the media assassin, coming at y'all with another video. Be sure to subscribe and hit that like button. Be sure to subscribe and support Screwball Radio as well. So, I want to talk about this here. I'm looking at the Art of Dialogues interview with Danny Boy. Big shout out to Art of Dialogue. I had him on the show last year. We had a great build about his content. That's what I like doing, man. I like building with people that is a total alternative to what the vultures are doing. So I salute him for pretty much getting people that were a part of the death row dynasty that can't really get a good look to tell their story. So with the Danny boy, he's always been one of his best guests. The three hour joint that he did together was dope. And now he's back again. And this time he's talking about, Issues that he's having with Snoop Dogg being the owner of the label. It's the same issues that he faced when Sugar ran the label in a way. He wasn't getting compensated. Now, see, let me tell y'all, aside, sexual preferences aside, Danny Boy is probably one of the coldest singers I've heard. People would say that he's, um, the death row version of Stokely from Mint Condition. But Danny Boy has a dope range, man. And I'm going to tell y'all, those tracks that he sung on on All Eyes on Me and Machiavelli, they wouldn't have hit if Danny Boy wasn't on those records. I'm talking about I Ain't Mad At You, Heaven Ain't Hard to Find, um, Toss It Up, Picture Me Rolling. A lot of those records wouldn't have hit. Even though they were dope, but with Danny Boy's voice, it put the perfect match on it. So, but here's a problem that he's going to probably run into. Now, with Snoop, according to his words on the Drink Champs, getting the rights to a lot of those old Death Row records back, he still didn't maintain the Tupac catalog. And... Most of Danny Boy's records are on Tupac's albums. Because Danny Boy didn't do no work with Snoop. He probably he got the slip and slide remix with the dog pound, but that's about it. They didn't really put that out. But a lot of his prominent work is with Tupac. And since Tupac Estate isn't letting Snoop have it, it's gonna be a longer process. And it's pretty, it's pretty sad to see, man, because, man, Danny Boy is a talented individual, man. I mean, he can still sing. I'll be looking at some of his lives. He can still sing. He's doing pretty good with his restaurant out there in Chicago. Considering how a lot of artists from that era have fell off hard times and never really recovered or just got locked up or died, it's good to see Danny Boy doing well for himself. But being that it was clickish back then, I don't think they're going to really look out for him because Danny Boy basically came under Suge. So it was basically Suge, Pac, and Danny Boy in their clique. Snoop, the Dog Pound, Nate Dog, Because Snoop and them felt they already had a singer, which was Nate Dog, So they didn't really need Danny. Danny was basically Suge's guy. So you basically had two separate cliques going on. You had Suge's clique and you had Dre's clique in a way. But hopefully they could come together and, and to get this brother some compensation because man, you hear all eyes on me, the streams of, of that album went up every year. The Super Bowl boasted I ain't mad at your streams. So this brother needs to be compensated. So let me know what you guys think in the comments, man. This is King Eric signing out. Check out the interview we had with JD the Lynch Mob. We want to upload that either tonight or tomorrow. Let's go.